Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Ilyas, and welcome to your hold on 35, yeah, 35th tutorial. So, in the previous tutorial, we did a good job programming this uh, filter. So, I can already click on architecture, and I only have pictures related to the topic architecture on the screen and city and nature and stuff. So, and you know, it took only uh, a few number of lines of code in jQuery, which is actually uh, a very powerful thing so but now what we want to have uh, we want to have something over here like all or something so that we just go back to the previous state where we have all the pictures uh, listed on the screen and we also want to give the user a feedback to highlight the current um, the current category for instance so this is something that we are going to do and um, first I want to style this list because I don't like the way it appears on the screen and I want the screen to be uh, styled horizontally because now it's uh, uh, vertical and I don't like the way and I don't like these bullets as well so let's just go ahead to our style CSS document and add a new rule for the filter so uh, filter I'll, I'll give you some more space and uh, filter not fighter filter uh, li and let's say display inline and now this should be displayed inline and the bullets yes they gone so that looks better to my mind because I know I don't know I just like it more so and we also want to have a new rule for the current state for for the active category which we can go like filter li dot active because we will um, set a class of active to uh, the current category so let's just go ahead back to the filter to the JavaScript and every time we fetch a category we want this element to get uh, active right now so let's just go ahead and say this and uh, if you don't remember what this means, this is the current element which is clicked. Uh, this set class. I hope it's set class, not add class. Well, we'll uh, figure it out. Set class category. Well, I think it's add class, but okay. Let's see. Let's just say add class. Add class category. And uh, now we can test if it gets a class of category. I'll just. Uh, go to the developer tools and I click this thing yes and it has it gets the class of nature oh I'm sorry I, I uh, applied the class of category but I should have applied the class of active yep like this uh, so I now we can highlight the class the active class for already and uh, it gets the class of active so we created a CSS rule for active and let's just go ahead and um, change its font no text decoration to uh, underline so uh, let's just go ahead and test it and so let's see what's going to happen I click nature and it's kind of highlighted by this underline but there is also a problem at the same time when I click nature when I click city or architecture all these elements get the class active so we have uh, three elements of active and only one element can be active so that means that we have to get rid of the class active uh, at all elements before we continue so let's just go ahead and get this filter and let's uh, perform this operation, perform this function, uh, remove class to all the list elements before we add class active. Remove class active. So now I remove class active and then I apply the class ac active only to the current element. And now we can go ahead and test it. So I click nat nature and it's only nature active and I click city and the nature loses its class active in our architecture so this is the way we can switch between the categories 
So there was one more feature, and there are also going to be uh, some more cool features and stuff. And uh, so that's it for the tutorial because the time is up. I'll see you guys in the next one, and I hope you guys like this tutorial and then you learn uh, lots of cool stuff. So uh, I'll see you guys in the next.